Hello and welcome everyone. This is Karima from Cisco Wireless Tech Team. In this video, I'll be walking you through the upgrading and installing the CMX server. To install the CMX server, first we need to download the OVA file. In this video, we are using 11.0.0 OVA file. Once the file is downloaded, please upload to the data store of your VM. Once that is done, please click on OVF template. Now we will be choosing the name and folder and select complete resources. Once that is done, please review the details. Please accept the license agreement. Now it's time for the configuration. In this video, we are going with the low end. We have two more options, standard and high end. As per our need, we can proceed further. Once configuration is done, please select the storage, select the network. And now we are ready to complete. As we can see, we have CMX server ready, which is powered off right now. We need to power on and take the console access. Once the console is taken, please log in with the given username and password, which will be CMX admin and Cisco. Once that is done, the installation process is started. Now we are given the chance to provide the password for the CMX admin. Please note this password we will be using later on to log into the CMX server CLI. Once that is done, please provide the network information. Please provide the NTP server information and while choosing the disk encryption, we need to say no and as we can see, the installation is completed now. Now it's time to upgrade the CMX. For upgrading the CMX, we are using 11.0.1 with .CMX extension file. Before we go for the upgrade, it is recommended to take the backup of the config. And now we need to have SCP server ready because we will be required the SCP server to move the file to the CMX using CLI. Once file is moved, we can verify the same using ls command. We can verify the version using CMX CTL space version. And now we are going for the upgrade and the command would be cmx os space upgrade space the file name. We need to say yes to start the upgrade. As we can see on the screen, it will be first stopping all the services. Once all the services are shut down successfully, then it will be going for the upgrade by swapping the old image with the new image. Please note the verification is already done as we have seen in the first screen. Now this is the process I have captured from my lab server for the reference. During the upgrade, if you are seeing any error, please do not worry about it. And we just need to sit back and wait for the upgrade to complete. It is recommended to not interrupt while the CMX is upgrading. Now we can see it is starting the CMX services and at last we should be seeing all the services up and running and we can see the upgrade completed successfully. We can verify the same using the same command CMX CTL space version. Under the image version we should be seeing the latest version. Before the upgrade if the GUI is already open it is recommended to close that session and take a new session so that we can clear the browser history. For the GUI, please log into the GUI using your username and password and on the left hand side corner, we will be seeing the latest version. If you face any issue, please do not hesitate to reach out to the tag and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.